What is up, I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today we have the Motor Galileo in for review. This is a robotic dock supporting smart pen and tilt functionality controlled by your smartphone. It's a very interesting product that anybody interested in 3D panoramas, time lapses, things like face tracking for photography and videography projects, or even just home security might be interested in. So let's check it out. Included in the box are the Galileo unit itself, two adapter inserts for different generations of Apple iPhone and iPod touches, and a flat USB cable, I definitely like that. The Galileo features an internal rechargeable battery charged via a micro USB port on the side and it has a standard one quarter inch tripod mount on the bottom. It has a nice soft touch plastic finish and it feels light enough that it won't weigh down your camera bag too much but heavy enough that it'll provide a nice sturdy base to hold your potentially 600 plus dollar device securely. Upon a first inspection it looks very similar to some other motorized quote unquote egg timer camera mounts but upon a further inspection the upper portion reveals it's capable of a lot more than those other devices this is where the smart functionality comes in i went ahead and tried it with the iphone 6s utilizing a not included adapter which retails for 30 dollars and to control the unit i'm using an ipad 2. this leads to one of the first big cons i noticed with the device while the app is easily downloaded and bluetooth pairing with the device is really straightforward it's somewhat disappointing that the functionality the base app offers will require you to have two devices to operate the Galileo. One attached to the unit in recording or broadcasting and the other paired to the unit in order to control it. The app does feature built-in joystick and d-pad modes, the former being good for panning and tilting. For my purposes, this seems like it could be really good for somebody that doesn't have a fluid head tripod or perhaps isn't physically capable of operating one. Smooth motion is definitely possible, but it takes a lot of care to ease in and out of motion in order to avoid herky and jerky mechanical movements. The d-pad, however, allows you to set the speed and the direction of the movement, then you can modify it as it moves at a steady pace in order to keep what you want in frame, or just set it and let it shoot. This is great for time lapses and this is mainly what I was looking at this device for and the way I tested it. I got some really, really good results with it and it definitely adds quite a bit of variety and flexibility that's technically only limited by the creativity of the operator and the final editor. I love using time lapses in my vlogs and build logs. Guys like Casey Neistat have used them to really great effect. Only thing I wish that this really did have was a slower speed, which would allow me to record time lapses in say a 180 degree arc over the period of hours as opposed to minutes. But I am fairly disappointed that the advanced functionality this platform allows is kind of locked behind paywalled apps after you've already spent upwards of $150 on the product. The apps aren't by any means prohibitively expensive. Iguana Labs looks like it has a ton of great functionality. I just wouldn't want to have to pay the full $10 for it without knowing if it's going to suit my needs. I definitely understand the business reasons for this and really platform is the best way to describe this product. You can do a lot with the base functionality, but really the paid apps are where I think the guy Galileo both shines and somewhat disappoints. I think somebody could pick this up expecting the world of it, not exactly getting what they thought, but also on the other side, 15 apps could add integration for this product within it and just really, really make it exactly what you need and possibly more. I think Motor would definitely be best served to get this along with all the paid apps into the hands of some really talented creators and storytellers in order to let them really show what it's capable of. For my personal uses, the base functionality doesn't offer enough to justify the base price of the product at over $180 if you need support for an iPhone 6. But man, if you're looking at this and thinking this is exactly what I need to tell my stories and improve my videos, then it's definitely worth picking up. It's built really well and has a ton of potential in the right hands. And you can actually pick this up at a discount if you use the link I provided in the description. With that discount, you can possibly pick up some of those paid apps that would allow this device and your content to shine. So that is it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.